Welcome to building a 2x4 modern Adirondack chair. We have our plan here, and let's just go through the tools that we're going to need to create this very simple thing. To start, tape measure, pencil, handsaw, and to draw straight square lines. Not everybody has a square, so I'm going to be using the edge of this book. I'm going to use a hardcover book because that will hold an edge nicely. Looking through our plan, I've sent this all out to you. I'm going to talk about the couple of changes that I made first. And then I'll get to cutting out all this material. So the shopping list is right here. Remember I said to get five. Five, two, two by four by eight, and to get, I believe it was two or three, two, one by six by eight. And that is the changes I made to the shopping list, and you don't need that. Just need a medium box of the two and a half inch long screws. Taking a look at our cut list here. The only thing I'm gonna change about this is I want to do only four of these. And for the back support, I'm going to add, let's see here going to add uh, 19 and one half plus 3.5 plus 3.5 that'll give me 26 and a half inches so I'm gonna have one two by four at 26 and one half inches and this is going to be the upper back horizontal support excellent uh two two by fours three one three quarters that looks good two two by fours okay so these are going to be the legs and i'm going to talk about those separately the back supports look good the one by tens for the seats and backs, we're going to go x nay all that because we're going to make eight, eight, one by six at 19 and one half inches. And that's going to be the back and seat. And that's where we are. Okay, I'll show you how to cut the first one. We'll cut it together and then uh, I'll cut everything up and I'll come back to you. So my first one is I'm going to make all of the one by six by 19 and a half inch pieces. Here's my one by six. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure over. I'm gonna make a mark with a pencil at 19 and a half inches. I'm gonna make a line. That tail tells me which line of the cut I want my blade to be on, the kerf. Then I'm gonna use my book, lining it up to make a nice square edge here. Like that. And very simply, see if I can turn this a little bit. Hey, that's awesome. Very simply, I'm going to use a handsaw, standard handsaw, nothing special to it. I'm going to cut that line. I'm also going to use a clamp 
And what also works good as a clamp is your younger brother or your younger sister to hold something while you're doing it. I'm gonna have this supported while I'm cutting it. So and just let it fall away when it drops. So there's our first one. I'm going to measure, I'm going to mark 19 and a half again, use my book, there we go, so that's number two of eight, and in that way I'm going to cut out everything on this list. Let me show you. So I'm going to do four two by fours and 19 and a half, all square cuts. One two by four, 26 and a half square cut. Two two by fours at 31 and three quarters. Two two by fours at 31 and one quarter. And this one is going to be weird. So don't cut this one square. I'll talk about that after. And then the two two by fours at 32 and three quarters, eight one by six, 19 and a half. So there are four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine plus eight is 17. So there's gonna be 17 square, 17 square cuts to make. There we go, let's do it. I've got the horizontal support. So I checked that off my list. This is the uh, regular horizontal support. There's the other one, one leg, two leg. This is that special one that I decided on, the new length, the upper horizontal, back horizontal support. Here we have an arm, here we have another arm, back support, and back support. So I'll set all these square cuts aside. I also made the eight one by six by 19 and a half inch pieces. That's pretty easy. What the plans call for is two two by fours at 33 and a quarter, both ends cut at 20 degrees off square, ends are parallel, long point to short point measurement. I'm gonna show you first how to set up a 20 degree angle without a protractor. And then I will uh, show you how to measure long to short, which was mentioned there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my book. I'm going to take my book and I'm going to make a square line. If you have a square, obviously this is better. Because sometimes it takes a couple of goes to get it just perfect. That looks pretty good though. Then I'm going to take my tape measure and I'm going to measure over one inch and a quarter. And this is based on a three and a half inch board, which I have, which is what you should be cutting this off on. So remember, one inch and one quarter over. And then I'm gonna connect these two points here. And what I have is a 20 degree angle. Use my handsaw to cut this off. And now, depending on how good of a cut you did, and I did okay, I'm going to use this piece of wood as my template to mark all my other angles. So I think it said 33 and a quarter from long to short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape measure and I'm going to measure from this long point here all the way over to 33 and a quarter. I'm going to make a mark and that's going to be the short side of this angle. If we're looking at angles. Here's the long side. Here's the short side. 
going to use this to determine the short end of my next angle. Remember, these two ends are parallel. So I'm going to take my block. There you have a piece like that, a piece like that. So you're going to need two of those boards made, and they have to be exactly the same. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to make this bottom cut right here. And it looks complicated, but it's actually a lot easier than it might seem. All we need to do is pick which side is going to be the top and which side is going to be the bottom. So I'm going to put an arrow. I'm going to put an arrow and I'm going to write the word top here. Same thing on this one. Arrow. Top. Then at the bottom, I'm going to take my tape measure. I'm going to do these both at the same time. I'm going to measure down two and a half inches. Which two and a half inches? Why these two and a half inches right here. Okay? From the short side of our angle. Take my tape measure, two and a half inches, make a mark, tape measure, two and a half inches, make a mark. Then I'm going to take my book or my square. Remember, square is preferable, but a book is something that I got. And hopefully you guys all have at least something that looks like a book. And I'm going to hold it flush to this cut angle end. And that's what I'm left with. So that part there is going to sit on the ground, so I need to cut that off. However it works for you is how it works. Clamp it if you can. If you can't, like I said, get your little brother or sister to sit on the thing. Get your uncle to help hold, and we should be fine. I'm talking to that. That's all right. That was just another teacher walking through. So I'm going to come around. Let's see if I can zoom in, make this a little bit easier for you to see. Now, this might be a pain, but you only got to do it twice. That makes it easy. Pulling back to start. going to be the backbone of our whole project. It's going to be our leg. Okay, cut the other one. Then you have all the pieces that you need cut for this project. In my next video, I'll show you how we're going to start assembling.